So again, not to recapitulate the whole story, but basically you, you wrote out a check for $5,000 to the man who owned the land or you thought had clear... He did, he did own the land. He owned the land, but it was held, it was complicated. Compl everything in the story is complicated. So you, you cart it off to your um, facility, you start preparing it, cleaning it, and then one day you think oh, everything's great, right? You've been part of this incredible discovery, and then everything goes bad one day when you have some unexpected visitors, right? Tell us about what happened on that day. So, so we, uh, uh, we donated her to the nonprofit entity, Black Hills Museum of Natural History. We spent 21 months working on this dinosaur, trying to free her from the rocks. And I woke up one morning to the rap on my door, and one of the gals uh, came over, who's uh, actually in the film, uh, uh, Lynn, and she, and she said, this place is surrounded with FBI. And I came out, and there's 35 FBI agents, the National Guard, sheriff's officers, and uh, uh, people from the Bureau of, Land Bureau of Indian Affairs, from the Department of Interior, and from uh, the Forest Service, and it was like this madhouse of, of all of a sudden here's these uniformed people and people with guns, and they demanded that we surrender this, this 10 tons of dinosaur that was somehow secreted away in our building that had been visited by more than 2,000 people in the 21 months that we, that we had her, uh, and, and it was, just very shocking, but you, we, we went into a mode to help them get the dinosaur ready to move because we didn't want to damage her.